Good evening, you're watching News at 7. Let's begin with the headlines of today. Decision to protect state's integrity must be taken repeatedly, says spokesperson of Congress XMLA R.K. Anand. And Nambu River Bank cave in at different areas on the western side of Yumnam Lakai. Spokesperson of Congress ex MLA R.K. Anand asserted that protection of state's integrity must be considered over times. Speaking at the inauguration of a community hall today at Kwake Telkonjeng Mayai Lekai, ex MLA R.K. Anand said, as there were reports of compromising the integrity of Manipur upon reaching a conclusion to the Indo Naga Framework Agreement in the Joint Parliamentary Committee report, Political parties, keeping their differences aside, should take a pledge to guard and protect the integrity of Manipur in the coming Assembly winter session. All parties must decide again to object any alternate rule inside the present government, said R.K. Anand. Manipur kanda ba tholak pada Manipur ke siyung bar yezun usunam lo ba tada BJP ki government ni Congress ki government ni thi dada. Manipur yoi bo waktum se dui bot soidam piga ne agar seya si mai ki manup biri enda kibale ita dui jenu slobi yoi seya ai sim ta gai urs tok jari apil tok jari ada ba si dui ngan abidu ma kalabi ai ma ki tongan tongan ba en pia pun bo ke guma mai ami au kuri na si umba dui jenu slobi ma tan moi na ko presen pi dui kete mai gome ndu mami mami isa pahe te kai kai ke dui ke am kalabi dui ai bo si dui amuk tun da te tsamara glo ko tava dui R.K. Anand further said people of Manipur are against the reports of joint parliamentary committee. He added concerned authorities should remember that civil society organizations and public are against the reports of joint parliamentary committee. R.N. Rabida, joint parliamentary committee mamanda hong yedumba Number one, two, three, have it, 123. I do report. In I am getting I say, must the way I am saying, district council, same I have simply am clicker way. Or that's a pretty study, Manipurama. Manipur has the quitting me. I'm loyal to it. see what I'm I'm pong na table to play within a quick remote Nambu River Bank has caved in at different areas on the western side of Yumnam Lakai. Commuters have been facing immense difficulty due to the condition of the river bank. Many opined that cave in of the river bank is due to the debris thrown at the river bank. As such, it has become a home for the rodents such as mice, reds, etc. Besides, residents near the river bank have been taking away earth as a material for house construction. Outlet pipes from the houses near the river bank are seen directly pouring into the Nambu River. Moreover, frequent floods occurring in the area is another factor for the cave in of the river bank. <laughs> ไปบักชุมโลโพกิบดอมาตบุนนําเดเดบกออไอ้ชาอีเสียอยากให้มาให้ตอร์กุบสุเรบกอคอยเถิงเดเซบสิเสียคุนทรามติกออะตบุนส
Hainagi Drebasum, was asking the awareness from the game, Mam Taru, the game, does been cheat over the pool like Kaisa, the Kenny, does been Musulaiteva, do like Kaisa, the Alaman Singa, the game, Kanga was singing at Tau, was at the Shanga Tones and Inde. It may be recalled that the dredging work and construction of retaining wall were carried out earlier at different areas of Nambu River. With an objective to provide antenatal care ANC to every pregnant woman, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had launched Pridhan Mantri Surakshit Matridva Abhiyan on July 2016 and it came into effect in the state from August 2016. Speaking to media persons at a press conference today with the presence of Mission Director Bandana, Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jayantukumar said that under the Abhiyan, ninth of every month has been fixed for regular antenatal checkup for every pregnant woman at identified public health facilities across the country. Under the Abhiyan, 13 specialized doctors, including one radiologist, already examined pregnant women at 298 places of high-risk pregnancies. The minister said that so far, two such programs have been conducted successfully at Mao and Moray. As an initiative for the program, Minister Jayanta Kumar donated 50,000 rupees to a team of doctors for providing nutritious diet for pregnant women. He also handed over 20,000 and 10,000 rupees donated respectively by Minister Diko and MLA Sapam Ranjan. Minister Jayanta Kumar called for active participation of people in the Abhiyan. Mind of every month, Madhida. I have <laughs> And MP of Lok Sabha, Dr. Thokcha Maina, inaugurated Yumnam Patlo Children Park today at Bukhau Model Gram Panchayat. The park was set up under Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana. Emily of Kundrakpam Assembly Constituency, T.H. Lokeshor, D.C. Imphal East, T.H. Chitra, Zila Parishad of Dolai Thabi, Pradhan of Bukau and its members attended the inaugural event. Speaking at the function, Dr. Thokcha Maina said, Bukau Gram Panchayat of Imphal East, Ngairang of Imphal West and Thinungai Gram Panchayat of Bishnupur have been selected on the Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana and relevant authorities have been trying to provide basic facilities needed in a model gram panchayat. Dr. Maina added that there are arrangements of providing one IT park and an old age home at the said area. May Padana Pangan Ba, Lu Naran Ba, Maru in his heart in Pa, Utahandaba, and the modern technology may am say, how the Mayamak export the Honorba, Pesida, IT, Pagama, a proposed ceremony, Marakida, Maru in Sahi Amba Hansing, Moyi Labum, all his Hongumba, and the Moyi pension, when a PD was in Sang and a PB bar, Moy Hinganaba in Nuanaba, Moy Krako, Moy Held in Biba, Massage, much over program is Lida. MLA of Kundrakpam Assembly Constituency, T.H. Lokeshwar, said that Kundrakpam Constituency, which has been lagging behind in comparison to other constituency, is developing in a fast pace. He added that being a model Gram Panchayat, Pukau will have all the basic amenities. 
ปาลุดิสคุลมาเลเมียอุบิรมุนยิงบิโอลิชิงลาปอร์โพซัลทาบะจิซุงตองตองยาดะบะไฮตันอาดนาฮูจิตีเอมุชากานะตอวิดระโ
Welcome back in your teen and news at 7. Jenims, along with District Health Society, Tamenglong organized the 15th Surgical Outreach Camp at District Hospital, Tamenglong today. Surgeries of as many as 19 major cases and four minor cases were conducted successfully at the camp. Speaking to media persons, Professor and Head of Department Surgery, Jenims, Dr. N. Jitendra said, out of 27 free surgical outreach camps held in health districts of Manipur, under his leadership, he had attended 15 times in Tamenglong. He stated that the free surgical outreach camp was held to amend the irregular feature caused due to lack of fund and policy program of the concerned authority. Dr. N. Jitendra appealed to the concerned authority to seriously look into the matter and take up necessary policy, including financial help for the people in remote areas. Chief Medical Officer Tamenglong Dr. Chambo Gonmai expressed a gratefulness to the soldiers. Surgical <laughs> All Manipur Students Union MSU has informed that it will keep an eye whether school authorities are defying the council's fee structure. HRD Secretary of MSU in a press release said that the situation has become a major challenge for MSU that has been working continuously without fear to bring certain changes in education sector till date. Education sector is a vital structure in the developing trend globally. The press release said said inadequate infrastructure and inability to provide appropriate facilities to government schools students have led to mushrooming of many private schools in the past few years private schools provide quality education to students who are the pillars of the future society however the most important question at this juncture is whether the private schools admission fees monthly fees and examination fees are justifiable as compared to Manipur society's economy. MSU has decided to take stern action against private schools that charges high fee structures. On the other hand, Manipur Friendship Organization has informed in a press release that the major factor delay in state development is due to consideration of education sector as business sector. Setting up of numerous student organizations is a reason for the reduction in its function. Government pays no attention to the difficulty faced by parents to educate their children. Private schools take advantage of the situation and charge high on tuition fees and admission fees. School uniforms that can be bought at 1,000 rupees have been bought at 4,000 to 5,000 rupees with the restriction that students must wear uniforms with school logo. This has also become another major burden for the parents. Moreover, some schools make students stay at boarding center before examinations. Those students defying the conditions are considered as unsuccessful candidates candidates for different tests conducted by the schools. Besides, students who do not stay at boarding centers are not even allowed to sit for final exams. The release further added that government remaining silent on education sector being turned into business sector is very unfortunate. Moirang Tem Ibotombi Memorial Trust observed the 24th death anniversary of former Minister Moirang Tem Ibotombi at Moirang Tem Ibotombi Memorial Complex, Hairog. The trust distributed pension of six months to 1,600 persons, including elderly persons, widows, and disabled persons on the occasion. A blood donation camp was also held as part of the observance. Altogether, 55 persons, including ex MLA Prithviraj K. Sarad, donated blood at the camp. Son of late Moirang Tem Ibotombi Okendro stated that the trust has been providing help to the downtrodden in the constituency who are deprived of benefits from the government. Members, you know, 
मणिपुर शांति हजरत भगवान रुस एक नशी के थाने के ने लाओ रही से कुल मरी रख सोए सही कुल मरी लाकर लगा मत की चाहिए तो दी सिल्वर जुबी चाहिए कुल मंगा सोए नहीं पर पांकों तो भी से कुल मंगा सोए से देख कोई हाई जादोरी विशांचे ने कोई नमस्य खोलाओ प्रजास ने होर के लाओ रही से मणिपुर शांति हजरत � Sungguh banyak pelawu sih dengan sini. Eh, kau ini pelawu sih tapi ni, he na. Kerak kerak tapi ni, na kerak lorup tu gimak papan lorup di. Nasi mani pun dah santai. Suka tak tak na hancur lagi sesat. Hero ke dengi perzagi seru. Ibu tommy memorial trust di. Member sih di. Dah itu susu seru. Kita ni jauh berapa na hancur ibu lagi. Jadi kau mana lep tu na santai. Puru bodoh na aku sih. Atau pun aku untuk tawdri. Ada na. Makar mana sih kau lawu ini? Hai sih ini. Tanku Sanao Long felicitated member of National Commission for Women, Soso Saiza, at a function held at the NL Hall of Accru today. Soso Saiza assumed office as a member of National Commission for Women on November 19. Soso Saiza is a prominent educationist of Manipur and she has worked extensively on bringing quality education, especially to all tribal women and youth of Ukru district since early 1980s. The felicitation program was attended by President of Tankel Sanao Long Grace Satsang, President of Tankel Naga Long Hopingsang A. Shimre, President of Tankul Naga Vungnao Long A. S. Avaumi and many others. Convener of SMC H. Ibohal Meite Ithai Kuno Government School drew the attention of the government that the students of the school are facing immense difficulty due to lack of teachers and inadequate infrastructures in the school. Speaking to media persons, he intimated that the school has no teacher of home science. Ibohal appeals to the authority concerned to look into the matter at the earliest. कोई ना था जी में हमारा फाइनल एग्जाम हमारा था इंग्लिश की और जा सोनाई लेटरिंग है इतना इसके हम थबीर अंबु दुना हाउ जी में फाइनल एग्जाम में हमारे तो इतना इसमें पोतो की है मशीन गवर्नमेंट की कोई भी नियम वो ही रिब्रा ना तो करना कोई सरकार की बेगे दिगी काम लोग क्यों ना थंबीरी बनाओ सीरी बीरेंद अभी की मफ़म मफ़म जगह दे स्कूल दा प्राइस दी बता कहीं दा बांग नाम की बल्लाओ की भी मायम दी अजम बंगाल तो ने उई अजम बंगाल तो ने ताजे अब इतना ही है स्कूल दी आरापनी है ना हवा सभी दा बरा है बसी पन्नो में एक ही पुनिंग दसिंग ना जे अब ना हो यूशो आई पाजेर बसी है जे डायरेक्टर ना नान हापी रह बोलते हैं उनका तो कोई लड़ी बो जाती है उनका कहे तेरे तो कहते हैं थंबी हो गवर्नमेंट की स्कूल दी गवर्नमेंट जो पी हो गवर्नमेंट ना गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में हाँ ना बताओ तो बिगनो हर जगह का लोन लेने के जगह से थिंजरो MP Dr. T. Mania and XMLA R.K. Anand inaugurated newly constructed community hall at Kwakai Tel Konjeng Mayai Lekai today. XMLA R.K. Anand, Adhyaksa of Imphal West, Taruni, Pridhan and many people attended the program. MP Dr. T. Mania said people have not been able to fully receive benefits due to the inability to take up developmental works by the government in the state. Job card holders have been deprived of unemployment allowances due to the government's inability to obtain funds. Various sponsored schemes have failed in the state. He appealed to the people to elect good representative. मशीन की पहचान जी मैं आम तौर पर सूत्र के जो एक कोई अन्य प्रोवे एलावेंस है ना मशीन की लेवल भी सीन जाए बारो सरकार ने पीके तो भी नहीं हो बजे लेवल नहीं हो मशीन सरकार ने लोगों का मंदिर मशीन लोगों का मंदिर जी मरम ले रहे होंगे नहीं मरम दी अच्छा वो नोटे हाई तो हाई हाई बजे आ रहा है Decision to protect state integrity must be taken repeatedly, says spokesperson of Congress, ex MLA R K Anand. And Nambu River Bank cave in at different areas on the western side of Yumnam Lakeai. <music> 
This brings us to the end of today's news in English. Thank you for joining us. Good night.